Today I just found out that I'm worthless. It's like, it's hopeless. It isn't going to get any better. No matter where I turn, there's no escape. The suffering is unbearable. And I'm absolutely no use whatsoever to anyone. It would be better for everyone if I was just gone. Everywhere I look, it's nothing but catastrophe. And there's n I can't see any way out of it. I, I can't see any path forward whatsoever. You are nothing. You are nobody. You don't even deserve to live. You constantly are told that you're not pretty enough and not tall enough and not skinny enough and people are better. And when you're young, you think that means I'm not good enough as a person. Ah, uh, you know, black, white. I'm here, you're there, I'm this, you're that. Anytime you have a name, anytime you have a label, you have an inherent division. And the division inherently causes conflict. And the conflict will inevitably cause wars. We're taught to endure. We're not taught to say habla con todos or to speak with everyone or to share what's going on with you or to talk to me about your life. If you had heart problems and saw a cardiologist, well, everyone would be concerned about you. You would know you're doing better. And it would be open and honest with the crew, anybody you no work stick. with. But the most complicated organ in your body, if you have a problem with this, suddenly there's a, we don't want to talk about that. No, and you can get over it. And that's what people need to realize. You can be cured. You can get past it. That's what we need to, need to realize. If you have depression, if you have anxiety, if you have post-traumatic stress disorder, if you have any kind of mental health condition, it's nothing to be ashamed of and it's nothing to hide. And it's something to hit head on with. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having a mental health issue, either with yourself or with somebody that you love. You know, if you're going through a divorce right now, if you're going through a financial problem right now, if you're going through an illness right now, if you are going through any form of crisis right now. And so I want to share with you, you know, I've gone through a divorce and I've gone through some very painful times. And during those times, they were messy. And during those times, I got off my game at times. And during those times, I was confused. But more than anything else, during those times, I felt pain. The worst thing you can do is what society suggests that you do. Escape. Get busy. Forget about it. Lose yourself in work. Of course you have to work. Of course you have to show up. Your team needs you. Life needs you. Your family needs you. Life is for the living. I got it. But I don't believe that the answer to get through your pain is to escape in your pain. And too many people do that. And I've read the books that say to do that. You can't motivate yourself out of heartbreak. You've got to feel yourself through the heartbreak. I mean, I think it's that old Alanis, uh, the, the, the old Alana, Alanis Morissette song. The quickest way out is in. There are gifts in pain. There is glory in pain. That's how you develop the bravery. That's how you develop the humanity. Do not latch on to your, de your depression. Do not personally identify with your depression. See it as you see winter. And winter always leads to spring and summer again. See it as you see nighttime. Nighttime becomes daytime again. See it as you see the breaking down and the building up of your body, catabolic, anabolic. It is a process that's natural for spiritual evolution and physical evolution in the world. Um, there's one thing, one thing, that if you did every single day, no joke, it would make an extraordinary difference in whatever mental health issue you're struggling with, and that is exercise. Is you've got to exercise every day. And the reason you've got to exercise every day is because what we know about human beings is that when you physically move, your physiology changes and that changes your brain. Getting your heart rate up, getting outside, breathing, feeling connected, getting out of your house, which may make you feel depressed and trapped. Doing that every day, that physical push. You don't have to run. You don't have to go to an aerobics class. Get outside with your dog in the woods. Walk with a good friend for two or three miles. Doing that every single day not only moves your body, which changes your mind, it gets you out of your physical environment, which is one of the things that people with depression tend to have a hard time doing, and it also creates a bit of momentum and a bit of a routine in your life. You take on just that single thing, 
get outside and exercise every single day as if your life depends upon it because you know what it does your brain needs it your body needs it your mental health needs it